Zero to Geek. Learning better is better. And hello, geeks, and welcome to our fourth chapter. Fourth, not fourth. To our fourth chapter, let's curve things up in my book, HTML5, Graphing and Data Visualization Cookbook. My name is Ben Fella. I will be your host, and I'm the guy that wrote this book. What we will do in this um, quick video is talk about what will you learn in chapter four. If you're not familiar with the concept, please check out our earlier videos um, or get the book, but you'll hear more about that in chapter one and two and three. So let's jump right into it and we'll talk and explore a little, a little bit more deeply into what is chapter four all about. So let's just right away jump right into it. Chapter four is all about curvy things and things that are not shaped in a linear way. When chapter three was about linear graphs, Chapter four is about graphing and data visualization that is more round. Um, let's see what type of stuff we mean by that when we say round. And by the way, it's the first chapter where we actually use real data, like an XML source, and actually we start working with data itself, while in earlier videos we were working with objects, and we're slowly, slowly expanding into other options of data manipulation and other types of data that we could work with and massage. All right, so what are we going to get in this chapter? So the few recipes, and I'm just going to run through them really quickly, the bubble chart, pie chart, donut chart, um, and a radar, and also a tree chart. So it's quite a lot of charts, quite a lot of things that we are going to do in this chapter. I don't want to run too quickly, so what I'm going to do, well, I do want to run quickly. I want to show you a couple of them just so you get a sense of what you'll be able to do at the end of this chapter. By the end of this chapter, you'll be able to build on your own. And if you really read the documentation, I deliberately put it step by step, building block by building block to help you understand how we're creating things. So let's jump into our browser for a second. And again, if you need to find our book um, and you want to buy it, would love for you to click on one of our buttons here to buy the book. Um, you can get the source files of the book at the bottom of the page and probably also somewhere in the top at some point when we get to upgrading and updating our page. All right, so you'll find that in zero to geeky.com, go to the book section, find our book, HTML5 Graphing or Graphics and Data Visualization Cookbook. It, cookbook right now, the name Graphics or Graphing is kind of like on the, on the debate, but I believe it's going to end up being Graphing because it sounds more cool. All right, so let's see some of the samples. So we'll see the pie chart, which we will be creating from scratch all on our own using a live, well, not live, but a data feed. We're going to use a donut ch chart itself and see how to create a donut chart on our own. We're going to see how to create a uh, radar, which is a really, really cool type of way of visualizing data. And we're going to see also how to create a tree and see how, what are the issues in a tree and how to solve those issues. So enough about that. Let's go back into our application and in our application, let me clear the slate so we could start talking about what should be your assignment. And literally really at this stage, when we finish chapter four, you really should be able to build almost any chart and, I recommend you try to find different charts that you actually need and try to figure out how to build them or try to expand the functionality of some of the charts that are in the chapter. The really most important thing that you need to understand by the end of this chapter is really how to really leverage and use Canvas because in each of these recipes we add something new that we didn't know about before about Canvas and deliberately we do it this way to slowly teach you also Canvas more in depth as you're progressing and getting um, a better familiarity of how to work with data visualization and how to massage data. So what I would like you to do is find a completely new data source, any data source, and try to find a way for it to work in one of these charts. If you're capable of doing that, then there's a good chance you're capable of building the chart on your own as well. And that means you've done a great job. All right, so that covers it for chapter four. It's, this one is going to be a quick and very sweet one. And again, please join us every Wednesday for a new book review for our book date. And on Mondays, we have new videos that are j just random videos that are cool to know about, about programming and tips and tricks and kind of like sneaks from our other releases. So thanks for watching. You probably feel guilty. And you should. The subscribe button is in the top left corner. Zero to geek. Learning better is better.